would say great opportunity, honor for me, because right now I am a team leader for other southern states by a meeting here. As a team leader, as a manager right now, I am working with all the southern states like Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, uh, Lakshadweep, and few UTs also. So I know the problems uh, uh, in field and I am facing the problems and I am trying to solve the problems also as a team leader. And before, before changing the trust, I belong to your community because uh, up to from 1998 to 2001, I worked with the social, AP social care residential schools. After that, they have probably said that uh, I, was tel I was a Telugu teacher. Up to 2007, so in 2007, I got selected for National Book Trust as a Telugu editor, regional editor. Right now, I am in that position. So always, I Probably say that I am a teacher. And I am basically I'm a student, but probably say that I am a teacher. So it's a honor and opportunity for me to share my views with uh, my teacher community. So when I uh, recall him, and uh, those days I don't know who is the leader, who is the teacher, but when I recall all my school days and everything, uh, especially when I said a night, so I thought that if I found a leader in my entire career. If I uh, probably uh, say a leader, he, is the, he was the leader because we were doing those days uh, from America, we got some Upma. That's what you call The name of the Upma went to school alone. Uh, no. So, as a headmaster, always he was there in the, uh, at the time of the preparation. He was a headmaster, always he was there at the time of distribution. As a headmaster, because I, I, I try to attend all the prayers and everything. So, when I recall uh, my school days, then I understood the whole That's why only Anuruddin Mauri Sahib is able to do all these things and is able to uh, achieve all his goals. So, without the, uh, for example, I am uh, just now I told about myself, I belong to a business family, but I never uh, had to become a government employee. Always I this, uh, from childhood I decided to be a businessman. I have to start a new factory uh, in addition to my father's uh, car car uh, factory. But when I joined uh, in high school, so I changed my mindset. The team leaders who can call to mind a range of different things. Depending on the types of leaders you have been exposed to in the past. Just to discuss about that also. If you cast your mind back over your time at school as a student and your years of teaching, you may be able to identify a range of school administrator leadership styles. Just now I spoke about Amiruddin sir, my teacher, what he did for us. Some of these were more effective than others and there are likely to be some leadership models you hope to emulate and other you hope to avoid. Just now I explained about Swami Vekan and his stories. There is always something to be again from the past but preparing students for the future requires forward thinking 21st century leader. With the, uh, this work we have worked with uh, Abdul Kalam sir, always his thinking is uh, uh, 100 years past only that's why. And whether you are a current or aspiring headmaster, principal or head of school, vice headmaster or vice principal or deputy principal, team leader or uh, department head, under number of school leadership teams are an emerging leader still exploring school leadership job that are uh, right for you. You have a responsibility to understand the art of school leadership in present age. Uh, 21st century, not only in, in, uh, since last decade, two decades, for everything we are uh, calculating with 21st century. Our, uh, other terms. So, strategic school building leadership is important because education in the 21st century is a new frontier. And 21st century learners are a new breed because tab, computers, yesterday we discussed about tabs also, tabs, computers, internet, and 
one thing I would like to ask the school teacher or HM without stick, which is the most motivated tool during our school days. You know that when I was a child, my motivation is one thapad and one nose. And if someone teacher lo, one only, and if someone impresses him teacher lo, one only. So example, in Chhaya Sir, Garva ga jeetu da. Because of my primary school teacher. Yes, yes. Under. In Thai mandai ke na. Under. Under the jeetu sir. Ma. Otherwise, na sadhu ayo sir ta ipe. Guru Patra Center la so. Eighth class, eighth standard teacher hai. Eighth class so higher grade training mandai da. Parata idu chhun. एचजी बीटेज़ एचजी बीटेज़ सेकंड एग्रेड बेसिक फ्रेंड्स तरह आते पुरे इधर ये जाने टीटीसी तरह आते बीएड जाने तो ना एथ क्लास के चलते कुछ ना टीचर आर अलग लोग अंडे आया ना बेस इंटरलेंस यूज़ है अंदर वो सारे काम बारे में बोल डालो देखो अधे पदार्थ वाली आगे पे ना सदूरी कंटिन्यू � आरोहण में टीचर जाने से अच्छी नहीं होती है पेरेंट्स तो अच्छा कंट्री में नहीं मिली डिप्यूटी होगा जब पेरेंट डीयू होगा जब पेरेंट डायरेक्टर का बोल देगा तब आता है सिक्स तू सेवेन तो क्लास में लो ओके टीचर आई डिसिप्लिन है इनका रा इनका सही है दाने मुद्दे पे तो मनो पंजे के कामन सेंस साल Kira itu musim selalu kita tahu, mama kalau tu mungkin refer jasa. Yang deputy dia itu nak balik mana? Nak balik tu pun dia. Tiada, saya kira English training ada. Yes. Saya English training tu, itu manch English tu. SSC 96, March result survey jasa tu, dia apa dia jusnya amni? Result survey jasa tu, dia result secara bad ni jasa tu. Ia mau expert teacher, English teacher. आधी बार ही चार ना और तुम ना करना था अंडे सिटी में वही पिटराई पेन में लोने होता है तो आगे क्या होगा आधे आकर मैंने फाइव इयर्स तो ना डिस्प्लेड हो गया थर्ड इयर की सेवेंटी परसेंट थी कामना टेस्ट को नया बजा नया बजा पहले है ना सोल्टान बाजार में आते हैं सेंट्रल लोकेटेड प्लेस तो वर्किंग चंद अपने आरजल के भी जैसे तो ने पहले शिफ्ट हुए इधर मॉर्निंग शिफ्ट हुए इवनिंग शिफ्ट हुए अधिक टीचर ने पास में बट तरंग ले वाली टीचर ले वाली ये तो जैसे से नर्क करना है ना और फुल टाइम नर्क में टें पहले वो दिन साइंस में कुछ चले अंडे साइंस एंड मैथ्स है ना ये दी ओके सब्जेक्ट मात्र में का� प्रत्येक सब्जेक्ट लोग कोड़ा माना इनकल के चाहिए अजना कोनी बिना ना भी ये भी दंगा होंडे इनका साचे पर ना चिंगा पड़ी एक टीचर ना बुद्धोसर वीर वो का स्कूल हेड का कानी वो का मंची टीचर का कानी वो का मंची प्रोडक्ट ने सोसाइटी की इबड़ा होंगे इन्हें कंटे माना कि माना बंदो प्रत्येक गवर्नमेंट स्कूल लोग and also lack of uh, sufficient abs and uh, attendance, absenteeism, and some sort of some sort of uh, uh, practices out there, and girl and uh, boy, some attraction issues are there. So many issues are there. How to come out of all these issues? How to change the attitude of a child? How to increase the GR, we are having so many things and attendance rate and uh, midday meals and everything and uh, everything we can change. I know practical chase choose I know impact study coda name chase and a research study coda we need the better both nano it is real time the name chase and a research study we need the better both nano we learn it. Manamo, one of four issues in the Manamo on the back call. Student attitude, and one of the school head ga koda, we teachers and other koda, ala pala otu nara leda. Four basic factors are in the Manamo on the back call. Student attitude, student attitude, community mobilization, and how the student will meet the demands of the society. 
ఏ స్టూడెంట్ అయితే ఏ చైల్డ్ అయితే ఒక మనిషి మనమైనా సరే ఒక స్కూల్ హెడ్ గా మీరు సొసైటీ ట్వంటీ ఫస్ట్ సెంచురీ మనం ఆ డిమాండ్స్ మనం మీట్ అవ్వనప్పుడు ఒక స్కూల్ హెడ్ గా మనం అల్టిమేట్ గా మనం సక్సెస్ అవ్వం కాబట్టి ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఇట్ షుడ్ మీట్ ద డిమాండ్స్ ఆఫ్ ద సొసైటీ ఈ ఫోర్ ఫ్యాక్టర్స్ ని మనం కంపల్సరీగా మీట్ అవ్వాలి అంటే యాజ్ ఎ స్కూల్ హెడ్ గా కానీ యాజ్ ఎ స్కూల్ టీచర్ గా కానీ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ద పాయింట్స్ నేను ఏదైతే ఇంప్లిమెంట్ చేసి చేశామో ద సేమ్ థింగ్ ఐఎమ్ రిఫ్లెక్ట్ రిప్లికేటింగ్ బిఫోర్ ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ఇక్కడ నేను త్రీ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ తీసుకున్నాను ఫస్ట్ పిల్లవాడి యొక్క యాటిట్యూడ్ ఈవెన్ దీన్ని మీరు టీచర్ కూడా అప్లై చేసుకోవచ్చు మీరు అది టీచర్కి ఎలా అప్లై చేసుకోవాలి ఒక స్కూల్ హెడ్గా టీచర్కి ఎలా అప్లై చేయాలనేది ముందు ఒక స్టూడెంట్గా చెప్పి నేను తర్వాత నేను ఒక టీచర్ నేను స్టూడెంట్కి ఎలా అప్లై చేసుకోవాలో చెప్తాను so with the change of leader with the change of uh, their policies me so that's an, uh, another problem and uh, we have taken up the quality monitoring tools also that in the uh, simac right quality monitoring tools we have taken up yeah we made it online also quality monitoring we took our orientations in different areas so the some works which i remember and just recalling with association the cement faculty at that time so cement is in andhra pradesh but not cement in telugu telangana there no cement after bifurcation the faculty of the cement has been shifted to andhra so there no cement faculty in telangana so yes, cement building is in building telangana. is there uh, but uh, okay only the building will find it's housed with the other uh, institutions okay school leadership academy crt telangana it was started in the fag end of uh, the year 2018 you can say virtually it was started in the year 2019 itself uh, from that point uh, we have taken up series of programs uh, before covid we took uh, number of programs actually after covid some due to the paucity of funds at the state level this for the right table we couldn't do organize many programs what are the funds we got from ncsl national center for school leadership through that funds only we could do the limited activities or uh, just telangana has also developed the modules so far we developed about 28 models and uh, this year also we is in progress uh, you can see the very range of topics out there there are perspectives of school leadership yes yes website all things are posted in our website of scr 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 telangana website is there in scr telangana website you will find the publication okay in publication if you click you will find the teachers modules and also the hm modules in the hm modules you will find all these things okay so this 28 modules of course exclusively we made in telugu some are ac- modules actually original modules are in english but we later we translated in telugu version okay so about 28 modules are there and you can see the different topics which includes inclusion in education team building cyber security health education and psychological issues well being of the children health management so many things are there and of course the contributors of this modules you will find the school heads also school heads and also very good teachers who are just like madam yeah. she presented very well with the science like that expertise who have very good uh, innovation they are doing we also invited them and apart from them we are taking support from different institutions like uh, mahindra university or manu maulana abdul uh, national university we are inviting the resource persons from them and also ngos also save the children is there they are working alok it is a school leadership program they are also working and they are also producing the different modules so we are taking the support of other institutions through them we are acquiring we are getting a good material and of course 
it's not just posted in only in the website but we are posting in different groups subject groups hm groups and also through devos office and we are disseminating trying to disseminate our to our sector officers i don't know how far the readership is there we, we couldn't know but we are trying at best our level, best level to disseminate in different forms and different ways we are trying to disseminate the because this module is not a bulky one you will find the module each module is grinding to 15 20 pages 25 pages even 10 pages also it's a very shorter so in whatsapp group we are spreading this message and along the modules we are giving so they can read it easily so that uh, uh, dissemination we are trying to do in uh, in this way once again good afternoon all of you uh myself suraj naik uh, headmaster from gomera high school boyeli and i'm having an additional charge of gomera high school dawshire that's in usgaon so both the schools are located in two different talukas uh, uh, if you could count the distance it is around uh, 20 to 40 kilometers so on alternate basis because many of my uh, uh, fellow partners who are here uh, basically from telangana they were asking how do you manage the uh, work of the two different institute so it is not just my story my Uh, other uh, headmaster Vishal sir and other headmasters uh, who are serving in our uh, Goa uh, holding uh, two or three of the charge also. So that's the story of government uh, high schools that's in Goa. And one very important thing I would like to put forward before I start my presentation, we are having almost uh, plus minus 300 high schools uh, which are uh, operated by aided schools. So there are hardly 77 schools which are being Uh, governed by our uh, uh, government, I mean, uh, directed uh, government, government high schools. But if you go to see here in Telangana, uh, what I came to know from my fellow uh, partners is that maximum of the schools are being uh, governed by the government school. So that's a nice story of this locality. Uh, I would start my presentation with a quotation, uh, with a quote of Shiv Thera. He says, "A good manager is not the one who do the." different things he is the good manager is the one who do the things differently that's what is my take away from today's uh, i mean this uh, workshop because many of the headmasters our role may be same but this role is being played in the different directions in the different manners my vision uh, uh, for almost 3 days and then later on the students were expected to continue the same process for half an hour every day So what I did is that from the month of January, our exam starts in April 1st. So almost for three months, the students were performing the yoga of, uh, at their own level. Uh, we had an auditorium, so in that auditorium they are being located and they do continue from 7:30 to 8. So this uh, SSC batch uh, were not allowed to uh, be a part of the assembly from January. So that had a good impact, and that is the reason we also started the same thing this year too. Just like to add to this because the time is short, so we have not made separate presentations. So the same presentation we have clubbed. As far as yoga is concerned, uh, as far as said, he has gone with the uh, uh, art of living uh, and he started the yoga. Uh, since I had done my yoga personally, so I had known the importance of it and it is uh, interest in yoga. So what I did was I started yoga during the assembly time. And uh, what we did do during the assembly is like the students are supposed to do Surya Namaskar. Once they do the Surya Namaskar, uh, they say the mantras which are there, uh, the name of the Suryas. And after that, they do one asana. And after doing that asana, you can uh, they come and tell that the benefits of that particular asana. The, we have realized that most of the parents at home and uh, everybody have lifestyle diseases, diabetes, and all the other things. So we connect those things and we tell what are the benefits of these particular asanas. So we expect that the child goes back home and teaches their parents. So that is how it is. And so what was the difference we saw is after doing this uh, asana every day, every, every class comes to the assembly, so they do their Surya Namaskar. They also got taluka level prizes in yoga asana. So that was the immediate effect we saw of that. So it was real. And plus, what happened is we wanted to stretch a little more. And since I had a little knowledge, uh, we teach moral education, value education. Uh, we learn it from most of the time. We learn it from the Western culture. What are the morals? But in our yoga asana only there is something called as yam and niyam, and there are not much five five ten or six six twelve maximum. You take hatha yoga or you take any uh, asthanga yoga. So we took those and we told our teachers during the moral education you teach yam and niyam. 
Because one is for yourself and one is for how to behave in the society. It is very holistic in nature. So we try to promote it in the school. So that was one of the benefits of it. The topic given to me is transformational leadership for sustainable development. So from yesterday onwards, we were listening about different types of leaderships. So we were talking about what are the characteristics of leadership. Yesterday, sir told us in detail about systemic leadership. And today we are going to deal in detail with transformational leadership. So before we proceed, so first of all, let's question ourselves. What is leadership? So when we say what's leadership, we many of us come up with lot of definitions, a variety of definitions we come up with. So in simple sentence, if we can wind up, we can say that leadership is transforming vision into reality. Hope you all accept it. Vision into reality. So that's leadership. So here once before I proceed. Let's have a bold view of my presentation. Why is transformational leadership required? What is leadership actually? Definition and examples of transformational leadership, elements of transformational leadership, characteristic features of a transformative leader, sustainable development and transformational leadership, what are sustainable development goals and what are sustainable practices followed in the school schools. So these are all the topics which we are going to deal in this particular presentation. So leadership. So we can see a variety of words that are attributed for leadership here. Leadership means taking up responsibility. It's Commitment, a person who has commitment is called a leader. A uh, humble person, full of humility. So, however he or she grows to great heights, looking down. Here, so thinking that what I know is very little and what I need to know is too much. So, what I know is just a drop in the ocean. The ocean is in front of me, what we need to know. So, with determination, we need to move forward and passion. A very important quality a leader need to have is passion. So with passion when we work, definitely we are going to create wonders. That's very much important. Passion plays a very important role. Now here, let me come to this transformational leadership here. This transformational leadership, why it's important? So you can see, say here, see here in this picture, the person on the top is a leader. He is giving a hand to his followers or teachers or whoever it is. So he is trying to bring his followers on this step towards excellence. So transformational leadership is like a step to excellence. So a person can reach the great heights if he develops as a transformational leader. <coughs> so transformational leader. A overview of this transformational leadership if we see transformational leadership is a leadership style that inspires and motivates followers to achieve exceptional performance and personal growth. Leadership for that was very learning will teach a elementary level that was completed and submitted to your office uh, in the LA. But uh, luckily again I got another opportunity of presentation but 15 minutes of nearly a 12 sites covering a title is here. The diversity, equity, and inclusion are best ways for creative leadership. Yeah. In Telugu, it is called Vaibichamu Samar Uttamu Mariu Cherika Gopanai Patan Gotomar Dalani Pati. Now comes with the process of Madame Gadu, Brother Jim Chapman Jarini. That he now to the Chilla Pai to take into the Tony. Okay, in the Prasanga, in my proper presentation, economy, my presentation may be. Uh, around these four words here diversity, equity, inclusion, of course, the key word is leadership, and there is another word is also there, it will come in uh, during the uh, presentation. So, why you jamu, samar, tamu, cherika? Almost to the three letters are appearing uh, yesterday and today in different place, but myself, 
I have prepared, I have shared some more here regarding my knowledge and my presentation. My topic comes of the four words of the piece, the key words which change. The first one is diversity. It is a simply, uh, we can be like this one. Diversity is a frequent word in use in this type of seminars. The presence and participation of individuals with varying backgrounds and perspectives, including those who have been traditionally underprivileged. So generally, a diversified letter it consists of different gender, race, age, and sexual orientation, background, status, a different ethnic background. All these people should be there. Maybe in the school education department in the form of a staff members or in the children in the community. So the total discussion based on the children as well as the leader. So it all, all these three, four words, uh, together contain these two, three, four words, diversity. So diversity means in the, uh, in the topic of the best ways for better leadership, first we have to look into the diversity. There are diverse people, diverse children in the school, diverse children in the school of different backgrounds, different gender, different race, and everything. They will appear in the schools, in the community. So we have to look into all, the, all these factors in the better leadership. And the next word which is very important in my presentation is uh, inclusion. The first word is simply called D, and second word is uh, I. The frequently used words here, later I will tell again these two things. The inclusion is a very important word. Uh, recently in NEP 2020 also, it was included, including education. Uh, in NEP 2020, I categorically uh, interested and included the word inclusion and also of digital education and art education. So the word is very, very important in the field of education according to NEP 2020. So what I mean by inclusion is that a sense of belonging Yes, <laughs> really the word is like it's the D E I. It's actually the very really good words are in this uh, title. So sorry. <laughs> so the second word is equity. This is actually a little bit confusing word with another word called equality. So let's uh, I expect all to see the beautiful uh, image which I can uh, Very beautiful word. And think about one one night on that one. Yeah. I do very happy to introduce this one image. I am Dr. Kalesha Begum. My qualifications are MSc Physics, MA Education, MA Kuchpudi Dance, BE and PhD in Education. I am working as Girl Child Development Officer, Samagar Siksha, Visakhapatnam and Girl Child Protection Officer also and Vocational Educational in Charge. That's why we are handling this career education also in Visakhapatnam district. So, yes, for this program, Yatra Naryastu Poojyate Tatra Devata Ramande. This Aryokti we heard so many times. In our government of India, so many policies and incentives are providing, are implementing for, to empower our women. Recently we heard in Chakta Sabhalu also Mahila Bill abroad. Yes, that many incentives and that many policies our government implementing. Yes, for this women should strong enough physically and mentally, emotionally also. For that purpose, they that one starts from the adolescent stage. So, today's my topic is leadership of GCDOs and nurturing adolescent girls. Adolescence is a crucial phase in girls' life marked by significant physical, emotional and psychological changes. As care gives it adult to adolescents, it is our responsibility to create supportive empowering environment for the, for the girl child during this transformative time. By understanding unique needs and providing guidance by GCDOs in the district level. Help the students like navigate through challenges and embrace their full potential by visiting KGVDs. GCDOs are motivated that motivate the children in the age of adolescence, especially girls. Encourage open communication and let them know 
that their thoughts and feelings are valued. Always avoid judgment and criticism and instead of offer, offer understanding and empathy. Building confidence and ambition. Girls often face societal stereotype and prejudice can hinder their aspirants, aspirations. The CDOs are play as care, gives, givers and share responsibilities to instill confidence and ambition in them. Encourage them to pursue their interests, set goals and believe in their abilities. Offering support in their educational pursuits, career choices, promoting a sense of self-belief and determination. Actually, for this, I am only what uh, steps we are following to empower the girl children and what type of activities, is, activities, best practices, what we are following, that only I am expressing in this presentation. We will conduct medical camps. Frequently, we will conduct, we'll conduct medical camps to the girl children. Even every monthly twice we conduct a medical camp and medical officers will visit our KGPs and they will check their HP percent also. If they are anemic, they will give some iron tablets and we will give a good diet for them and we will motivate them with some supervisors also will observe they are taking meals or not properly like that. Some caretakers will take care about their health. And the same thing, some iron capsules, and all bandages, and like the vitamin tablets, everything will distribute to them. And in that way, for their physical health, physical health, health maintenance, we will see that, provide the vending machines, sanitary napkins. Next, hygienic washrooms. This is very, very important to the adolescents' children. My topic today is visionary leadership for futuristic STEM. So I am from JPHS Tanuru and Bhavani JPHS Tanuru, a village very close to this place. So the topic is visionary leadership for futuristic skills. So before plunging to the so before plunging to the presentation, I'd like to um, divide the concept into three chains. Of visionary leadership and then what makes a visionary leader look like and then what are futuristic future skills and then uh, how does a visionary leader make the school environment nurture the futuristic skills. So in these three aspects we'll discuss, we'll have theme. So actually uh, uh, we do, I mean all the school leaders have plethora of activities, we engage in plethora of activities, we face media challenges and also we, we wear different caps. So we have we do follow many leaderships, like leadership styles, uh, like transaction leadership, um, systemic leadership, transformation leadership, and then uh, we have uh, instruction leadership, pedagogical leadership, these many leaderships we, we do have. Don't they have vision in them? Don't the leaderships have the vision in them? We do have. So all the leaderships have vision. So why that vision has been picked up separate and why that visionary leadership has been given that paramount importance. So let us see how, what does our GOAP vision is. So our GOAP vision is government school kids as global leaders. So no other government or no other CM ever thought of government school coming kids go global. So as a teacher for these many years of experience, I never thought my child would go global. And parent also never thought the child, my child, my kid goes global. It is the Honorable Stevenson's vision that every government school attending kids should compete at the global platform, should be in the global citizenship and should and has to lead global village. So that is the GOAP vision. So the little hands will be the hands where there will be sharing, caring, and uh, nurturing things in the global citizenship. So, to align with the global citizenship, 